right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this comment, but, well, I'm going to say it anyway. There are some of us out there who prefer to use a web front end to administer our network server, i.e. Old Mate. Most people prefer to do it through terminal commands, but I prefer a GUI. One of my friends yesterday, personal mate of mine, suggested we have a bit of a sticky beak at the new webmin for Debian 11. Preferably, I'm hoping to use cockpit, but either which way. It's time for server PC stuff here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, and for this one, let's have a look at the new webmin for Debian 11 against cockpit. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's time for server PC stuff. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, as I said at the top of the video, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for saying this, uh, but there are some of us out there who prefer to administer our network servers using a web GUI. The holier-than-thou know-it-all experts uh, ignore web GUI. They prefer to do it in terminal commands, and that's fine. They're holier-than-thou know-it-all experts and believe that a GUI web front end is useless because it doesn't actually work. That's fine. They can PO very quickly. I like a web front end. I prefer a GUI. It's probably extremely amateur of me, I know, but I prefer it. Now, I've mentioned this in the past. If Neth server ends up going rolling, my hand is forced. I've made my mind up. It's Debian. It'll be it's Debian server. Debian 11, obviously. However, I want a web front end. Now, I use Cockpit at the moment on Neth server, and I love Cockpit. It works like a dream. But during, what was it? I was about to say during the weekend. Well, technically, I'm right. Yesterday, Arvo, a personal mate of mine, suggested I have a bit of a sticky beak at the new webmin for Debian 11. And so I'm like, all right, I'll have a sticky beak. Now, I've set Debian 11 up as a test server. I've got Webmin installed. We know how to install Webmin. I'm not going to go through it. Suffice to say, though, I forgot the fact that Webmin on the initial startup does not support system CTL. You've actually got to do it from slash etc, Webmin slash start, and then you can do system CTL to enable it. I forgot. However, what I've done is I've got both of them set up. I've also installed ISCDACP and Bind9 to see whether or not we can actually see them both. Now, my, my hope is that I can actually get Cockpit to actually configure them. But, in fairness, we'll compare the two. So, for a Monday morning, it's time for server PC stuff. Let's have a look at Webmin against Cockpit for Debian 11 Bullseye. Technically, I'm right. It is a server system that we're looking at here. It's just that it's not hardware. Let's get into it. All right. For the sake of simplicity here, as you can see, I've got Google Chrome as well now. I use Google Chrome for the random stuff. Why did I install Google Chrome? Because I did. So the first thing I want to do is let's get into webmin so this is the new webmin now i do have cockpit ready to go but here's the new webmin now it actually to be brutally honest it doesn't look too different to what i was running on another server i used to run which the holier than now experts effectively told me to turn off because i was not using it for legitimate purposes according to them but anyway so, networking. Now, I've installed... Well, there's SSH. Whoops. So, hostname and DNS client. Well, that's bind so that's good that's got that but ICS is not there which is a little bit of a problem it 
would have been there. DHCP server. Okay, so there's the DHCP server. It's not running yet, obviously. But as you can see, it's there. And if I go down, I'm hoping bind is there as well because I've just installed it. But, oh, there it is there. So there's bind, all right? So you can see a lot more here. But webmin, yeah. I'm not keen on webmin as much as I am cockpit, all right? And you can see it's a hell of a lot slower as well. All right, well, let's get into here. And let's see what cockpit sees, all right? So if we go to services, right off the meat of the bat, DHCP server failed. Now, that's effectively because I... Whatever. But if we go into networking, nothing. And this is where I'm getting a, a little bit... I don't know if I'm missing something or what, but... Cockpit... So there's the two drives, right? So there's the storage system for it. The network system, though, for some unknown reason, I can't... If I go into application, see, I've only got that. So there's something missing, which I've still got to have a sticky beak into, all right? And there's all, you know, the majority of it I can do from in here, but... If we go into networking, part of, oh no, hang on, services. Now, restart the, yeah. So there's the graphic target. The problem is I can't I can't actually get to it if you get my drift. I'm missing something. What I don't know yet. But also you'll note binds not showing up either. Alright, so if we go back to services, uh we'll see or maybe bind is there. Failed to start those two. There's Appermore. Where's Bind gone? See, Bind's not there either, and I've actually installed it. Oh, there's Bind. So, I also cannot get to it. So I'm missing something. There's something I'm missing in cockpit. What, I don't know. Um, whereas, you know, if we go into unused modules, well, there's the DACP server, right? And there's the bind DNS server. Right, now... I can sort this out at a later date if I want. So what I've got to figure out is what am I missing in here? All right. Now, one thing that could be causing a problem is ISC DACP server. Okay. So one way I can get around that problem, and you can see here it failed to start both of them. All right. But it got bind. All right. But it failed to start these two. So there's a couple of ways I can do this. All right. I'm going to networking. And see, I can't even edit them. Which is a little bit of a problem. All right. I can add bonds and that, but that's all I can do. One way around that problem would be to statically assign this machine's IP address, reboot it and see what happens. All right, that's one way. Remembering though, my big issue is that that Super Micro has two Ethernet ports on it. One from the firewall and then one out to the LAN. So 
you can see here um, it would have to be what are they? Uh, they're Intel ports, aren't they? So it'd be uh, ETH zero would go out to the firewall, and ETH one. I've left the tablet on. I apologise. And ETH one would go to the rest of the network. Okay. So what I want to try and do, I'll actually do it now. Let me uh, statically assign this uh, this test bed. Statically assign it and then reboot it, we'll come back and see whether or not ISC starts. I don't have many gripes about Debian 11, but the reworking of how you configure your uh, Ethernet uh, network addressing from auto to manual, a little bit more tedious than it used to be, to be brutally honest. But anyway, all right. She's statically assigned now, so we'll go back in. webmin and we'll go back into here as well now I did restart the systems by the way but you can see here it didn't start I don't know why but if we it should enable There we go. Nope, still won't start. I don't know why, but we'll figure it out later. Now, I'll go back to networking. And you can see here, it's now statically assigned rather than DHCP, which is fine. But if I go into application, no, services, claims it's running But where is the uh, that didn't start? Hang on. <laughs> Failed to start LSB. Okay. I've obviously screwed something up. But anyway. The problem I've got is I still can't if I go into networking, now theoretically this is where I should see bind and ICS DACP server. Except I'm not seeing it, which is a little bit of a concern. So I'm going to have to figure out why I'm not seeing it. Whereas with Webmin, if we go to unused modules, there's the DACP server, which I've obviously got it set up. There's Bind, but they're not showing here in co Cockpit. So I'm either missing something, which is possible, although I did tell it to install the everything. So why I'm not seeing it is a little bit of a what's going on here not synchronized oh okay fine why i cannot see it in cockpit i don't know so i'm i'm either missing something because it's there in webmin in fact there's a heap in there there's firewall and grub and everything like that but <coughs> not in cockpit. So the question is, what am I missing? Having said that, Webmin doesn't look any different, to be honest. Doesn't look any different. Um, but I just, I prefer cockpit. But where I'm getting held up, as you can see, is I can't get to anything. All right. Now, why can I not get to the configuration for it? Oh, it seems to have started now, I think. Nope. Okay. If we go to bind, and you see I, st I can't even get into bind. So there's something I'm missing. I just have to figure out what. As soon as I can do that, there's a possibility I may end up going to Debian 11 regardless. 
as long as I can do everything through cockpit, which is what I want to do. The other thing too, you've got to remember, this is going, if I, if, if I can get everything on cockpit to work, it'll go on the same server that Neth server's on, just on a different hard drive. So there's something I'm missing. I just don't know what it is. I wish I did. Because theoretically, if you look at Neth server, when you bring up networking, you've got everything here. Right? You've got ads, bonds, bridges, VLANs. But I'm missing... Uh, Fail to start DACP server. I don't know why it's failing to start. It should be starting. Um, and then, of course, there's Cockpit's terminal, which is good. So, I right, webmin's all right, but I really need to get all of this in the Cockpit. I guess I'm going to have to try and figure out what else is going on or whether I'm missing something, basically. But the system's statically assigned, so it should... It should have gone in. I just don't know why. And because uh, I've got oh, there's network manager, it's all there, right? But I just yeah, I can't get. I'm missing something, right? Because if I go to a bot. Uh, you know, I can add everything there, that's fine. But I can't... You see what I mean? Everything... I'm missing something in cockpit. There may be a module I'm missing or something, but anyway, there we go. Webmin's all right, but I really need to get things in cockpit. Um, because, I mean, look, you know, there's all that. I can, you know, create a DHCP server and everything like that. Um, if I go to network configuration and I go to uh, routing and gateways, there, there it is. There, right? If I go to network interfaces, you can see there static, statically assigned, um, host name. There it is. There, so. I can do all that, but the thing is, is I want all this in here. So I'm missing something. I just don't know what I'm missing. Anyway, there we go. So I have to figure out why. It says it's running, but I don't believe it is. It claims it is. Maybe it is now running. No, failed to start still. There it goes. Nope, still can't start. Oh, I'll figure it out. But anyway, if someone knows or can remind me, how do I get all that to show up in cockpit? I, the only other option I've got is I've missed something. That's possible. But there we go. So there's the new... I mean, Webmin looks no different. Looks exactly the same. Doesn't look any different. When you think about it. Anyway, there we are. Someone wants to remind me how to do it without, you know, losing your marbles at me. Uh, because if I... Look, it could be the case if all this comes up the way I wanted to, I may end up... I may end up going to Debian 11 regardless. We'll have to see what happens. Anyway, there we go. Uh, stick around. I might go and have a sticky beak at the email shortly and see if anything's come in. Have a good one. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.